Now, at least 17 people have been killed in Iran as protests escalated over the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini. However, rights groups in the country say the death toll is almost twice as high. Protests have raged on in at least 30 towns and cities for the last six days. It all started last week. This is when Iran's morality police arrested 22-year-old Masa Amini. Her crime was not wearing a hijab or headscarf. Under Iran's Sharia law, women are obliged to cover their hair. Offenders often face fines or arrests. They are detained by the Gashti Airshad or guidance patrols for violating the country's conservative dress code. The U.S. Treasury has placed the morality police on its sanctions blacklist, holding it responsible for Amini's death in the capital. Now, according to witnesses, Amini was beaten inside a police van. They then took her to a detention center. She then collapsed while in detention. After spending three days in coma, Amini died in the hospital. However, Iranian authorities have rejected all claims of torture. They say she fell ill while waiting for other women. In fact, they even released a video of the same. But her parents say otherwise. They say their daughter was perfectly healthy and did not suffer from any chronic medical conditions. Activists too say she was ill-treated in detention. The anger has now fueled protests that began last week. These are the biggest protests since November 2019. These protests present a new challenge to the leadership. They are taking place nationwide. They have support across social classes and ethnic groups and were instigated by women. Unprecedented images have shown protesters defacing or even burning images of Khamenei. They chanted death to the supreme leader and protesters were also seen directly resisting security forces. Women refused to put their hijabs back on and vehicles belong to police were torched. Now for now, the Iranian regime has cracked down on protests, detained demonstrators and restricting access to internet. There were fears violence could escalate further after Iran blocked messaging apps including WhatsApp and Instagram. Iran's revolutionary guards have also issued a warning over the unrest calling for the prosecution of those who spread false news and rumors. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.